Hey everybody, welcome back to Row Country. Today we're making these adorable Buffalo Check Snowflake Shadow Boxes with items from the Dollar Tree. Before we get started, I just want to invite any of you who are new to go ahead and hit that subscribe button and become a member of the Row Country family here on YouTube. And to my returning subscribers, I want to say thank you so, so much for your support. You mean the world to me, and I just cannot thank you enough. Thank you, thank you, thank you. So what we'll need for today's really cute craft is this fleece baby blanket from, of course, the Dollar Tree. This box art from the Dollar Tree as well. You're going to need some paint of your choosing. I'll use the Waverly and also some Mod Podge. Again, I'm using the Waverly in white and also in the silver lining. You'll need a foam brush and a paint brush. These cute paint your own ornaments in the snowflake. Also, you'll need these DIY stickers. We're also using the snowflake there. A glue gun and some glue sticks. Optional is one of these craft knives. And also optional, of course, is the glitter. And I know some of y'all don't like the glitter, so if you don't wanna use it, it's totally fine, I promise. So what we're going to do is we're going to deconstruct these boxes. These are just some wooden boxes that are open in front, there's no glass. These pieces in the center are raised up and we want to go ahead and just remove those. Now look at that cute heart on the back of that. Um, so yeah, so we'll wanna just pull that off. It does take a little bit of muscle, but not too much. We'll do the same with these little boxes, that middle piece that does um, need to come out as well on both of those. And those are just on a wooden block. And once we have those taken apart, we're going to go ahead and put a good coat of white Waverly chalk paint on these. Now, again, we're gonna use that white Waverly chalk paint and we're actually using that as a primer. We wanna really cover these pink discs that are in these boxes that we have removed. Also, because the boxes themselves are pink, we want to just make sure that we get a really good base coat put down so that when we go back and we put on the silver lining, none of that pink will be showing through. So we're gonna go ahead and we're going to paint the disc the outside of the box, and then also the inside of the box. Because we're going to line the inside of the box with that adorable Buffalo Check baby blanket. And we don't want any of this pink or the blue from the other larger box to be showing through any of that. These little boxes end up turning out so, so cute. And if we had any pink or blue throw showing through that, it would have ruined the project. And so this is what it looks like with just one coat of Waverly white chalk paint. I definitely recommend that you go two coats at least. I did two coats and that sufficed for me. And while we set everything else aside to dry, we're gonna pull these two snowflakes from the DIY sticker pack and also one of these snowflake DIY or paint your own ornaments. And we're going to also give those a really good coat of this Waverly white chalk paint.
Now, as always, glitter is optional. I am using the silver glitter from that pack from the Dollar Tree as well as some Mod Podge to make sure that it adheres to just my snowflakes. The Pinterest item that I saw and pinned that inspired this DIY today, the box itself was also glittered and I just thought that might be a little too much. So we're gonna go ahead and just make sure that these are covered really well in this silver glitter. And again, we're doing both sets of the snowflakes. Those two and then the ornament. And with every farmhouse DIY that I do, I end up with imperfection and that is absolutely perfect. So we're not looking for perfect, perfect here. We're just really looking for beautiful. And I think that ornament just turned out so nice. So now we're going to take the Waverly chalk paint in the silver lining and we're going to go ahead and make sure that our raised pieces that will be in the middle of the boxes as well as the boxes themselves they all are going to be painted this silver lining waverly chalk paint to really bring out the gray tones again this is transitional decor for christmas into winter this set will actually be out on my coffee bar throughout the winter season all the way into spring. So these gray tones are going to be really perfect for the winter season. Plus this silver lining gray really complements that buffalo check baby blanket that we're going to use as the background on these boxes. So pretty. And so guys, this Waverly chalk paint dries so fast, it took almost no time at all. Now we're able to take our glittered ornaments and our glittered stickers and attach those to the center pieces for the shadow boxes. This is how this looks when it's done. It's just so cute. It's just beautiful. In person, it just glitters and shines. This is perfect for Christmas transitioning into winter for sure. Now, as I may have mentioned, these boxes are going to become part of my coffee bar decor for Christmas slash winter. And these will transition from Christmas into winter all the way through spring. Now you wanna make sure that your notifications are turned on guys because I'm going to be posting my coffee bar winter Christmas tour but that's going to hit right around thanksgiving so make sure you're tuned in for that as well now i want to show you one thing here this is what i use guys to pick up all that glitter and this is why i like to work with the glitter because these little lint rollers really help if i have glitter that's gone astray i just go ahead and roll over it and it's gone now that we'll set those aside and we'll take this fleece baby blanket in this cute buffalo check in the gray and we'll just lay out each box onto the fabric and cut out a piece a little larger than the inside of the box itself. Eventually we will trim it down so that each of these pieces fit into in the inside of each of these boxes just like this. That buffalo check is so pretty, guys, and with this Waverly silver lining paint, it is just so, so pretty. Now that we have the pieces cut down to the size we need, we're going to go ahead and apply um, a generous amount of Mod Podge. When I say generous, I mean just enough to really coat the bottom, but not so much that there are like it's not gloppy. 
But what I mean by that is that there's enough in the bottom so that when the fabric lays down on top, it will soak in all of that Mod Podge and it will adhere to the back. And now that that glitter is all cleaned up, all we need to do now is go ahead and recenter the centers of these boxes. So we're going to go ahead and just kind of eyeball it and then go ahead and add some hot glue and be generous with that hot glue on the back of that. Again, that heart on the back of that just kind of surprised me and it's really cute. So be generous with the glue, go ahead and place it down in the center and then hold it in place until it sets up. This is what the large box ends up looking like with that buffalo check. It is so farmhouse, it is so winter, so Christmas, so glittery, so pretty, oh my goodness. And then here's the small one with the buffalo check in it as well. And these risers are round. So we'll go ahead and again, just be generous with that hot glue and center it down as best as you can. These boxes are kind of tiny. So even my fingers had a little trouble getting inside of there, but my goodness, guys, I mean, you just will not believe People will wonder if you purchase these and truly they look as though they were purchased. Here they are. Guys, give me a thumbs up if you like this video and please consider subscribing if you're not already. I do thank you so, so much for watching my video today and I hope you'll return for another one soon. Thanks again, everybody. And until next time, bye.